you know that we can represent addition and subtraction by using pictorial models, number lines, and equations? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video, I will be showing you how to add using pictorial models, number lines, and equations. Let's take a look at the following word problem. Nancy collected 156 stickers. Her dad bought her an additional 150 stickers. How many stickers does she have all together? Since we're being asked to find the total number of stickers, we need to combine the number of stickers Nancy collected with the additional 150 stickers her father gave her. We can represent both numbers using our understanding of place value. In the number 156, we have six groups of one, five groups of 10, and one group of 100. In the number 150, we have five groups of 10 and one 100. Now that we have represented both numbers on a place value chart, we can combine them. Six groups of one plus zero is equal to six. If we combine five groups of 10 with another five groups of 10, that gives us one group of 100. Now we have one, two, three groups of 100, which are equal to 300. Our final answer is 306. We can also represent the addition of these two numbers using a number line. When we add positive numbers, we move to the right of the number line. If we look at our number line, we're starting at the number 156. Since we're adding 150, this means we need to move 150 units to the right. We can move 100 units to the right as represented by the arrow. We're now at 256. The final step is to move 50 units to the right. 256 plus 50 is equal to 306. Our final representation is using an equation or an equal sign. When we add 156 plus 150, that is equal to 306.